Hey, what's up guys? This is Xiao Shan the Elegant here again, and I'm coming at you with the sixth episode of my Let's Play series for Hyrule's Awakening by Lunar. Um, in the last episode, we made it through level five, and we are now entering level six. This is going to be very interesting because in the original game, this was the dungeon that destroyed me constantly. Um, eight and nine were difficult, but this was the one. So... Let's see if Lunar's version of this dungeon is any simpler. Alright, we're going to get right into it. Here we are, level 6. Nothing to... Was there something that popped up? Okay. Well, they deal two hearts of damage, so that's something. Might be a little better if I had some better equipment, but that would require me going and finding better equipment. And I have not done that yet. So there's a couple of them dead. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I lost quite a few hearts, but I didn't need to lose them. kind of play it slow. There's probably going to be more difficult Riz ropes, but we'll deal with them when we get to them. Okay. I assume there's something here. Alright, I got a key for this dungeon. Let's go to the left. Did not get hit. That's nice. So I can either go right with my key or left without my key. So I got a place I can bomb over there. And I got another key. Oh, the big key. Wow, immediately getting the big key. That's pretty cool. So on this wall. Let's just avoid the whiz ropes for the time being. For some reason I was thinking I had the boomerang equipped. Uh, so what's going on here? Something... There's got to be a shape there or something that I'm supposed to make. Let's see which ones I can push. I believe I can push this bottom one. Maybe I'm making a square or a rectangle. Yeah. Dungeon map. Cool. Very quickly getting things going here. And now it looks like I have to go through. I got hit even though I was in the air. Okay, that's fine. Thought I jumped over that guy. Make our way through here. And there's a big boy in here. Wow. He's huge. Okay. Oh, dang, and that knockback is pretty crazy. These things are humongous. At least they don't hit very hard. Yeah, I think having a some better equipment, you know, a sword that kills things in less than 20 hits. It's not really 20 hits, but whatever. I think it's like six hits. That would be beneficial. As well as some as well as a new ring to change up my tunic. It's 
very possible that I could have already gotten them, but again, haven't done the exploration part of this at the moment. These dungeons, these screens are like really reminiscent of certain screens in Link's Awakening too, so it's not like just mechanics and stuff, it's like just screens in general really remind me of Link's Awakening. Just the way they're shaped and everything. Got a key, now I can jump back down here. I think this is the only way to go right now. So let's just forget about them. Oh, I tried to jump over him, but I did succeed. Let's... I'd rather go kill this guy first. If I can. Let's, tr let's try... Yes, come towards me. There you go. It's easy. Is this an item? Looks like an item. Ocarina. It can play a soothing tune. Alright. So we got an Ocarina. That's our dungeon item. Should be able to get through this dungeon pretty smoothly now. Let's grab this really quick. Compass. Now we can go to the left. Just avoid all of these guys. Get hit by that guy. It's alright. We didn't need our health. I guess there's nothing in there because it didn't make a noise, so. Let's not get hit by him. Okay. This is like insanely easy compared to the original. Fifty rupees and an empty room. Or looks like the floor is just about was about to come up. Yeah, it just takes forever for the floor to come up. Maybe that could be sped up just a teensy bit. I don't need to fight these guys, so I'm not going to. And the boss is already. Let's see. Will this do anything? It probably just needs bombs. Okay. Is that seriously everything? Wow, that was incredibly easy. Is that the entire dungeon? Did I miss something? See, I've gone all the way through these rooms on the right side. I guess I'll go ahead and grab the Triforce piece. But like, to finish this dungeon in less than 9 minutes, that's pretty insane. It's definitely, definitely easier than the original. Just gonna check around and see if perhaps I missed something somewhere. Because of here. Did that. Then we just got that side to check on. I don't care if I get hit right now. I'm just trying to. As long as I don't die, I don't care if I get hit. But these big guys don't really do a whole lot of damage. So yeah, been to these rooms. I've been to that room up there. Probably. Yeah, 
Yes, I have. Not much left to look at, really, so... Yeah, I've been everywhere. Wow. What an easy dungeon. Huh. So, considering that I'm only at... 10 minutes, I'm going to do some stuff. I'm gonna touch some graves, anything. Right graves are fine. The middle graves are fine. Left graves. There we go. A grave. Okay, so I want the fire here. Something. Heart piece or a seashell? Heart piece. I think there was a screen in the graveyard that had something special in the original game, at least. I'm pretty sure it was the top right screen. Something here. Hello. How dare you disturb my time alone. I shall curse you as payment. Are you ready? Here it comes. Bam, you're now cursed. Look at all that extra junk you need to carry with you. Off with you now. What extra junk I need to carry with me. I don't see anything. Maybe that was a joke or something? Maybe he's just incompetent? But I think that middle one... No? Seems as though I've looked through everything in the graveyard. I was expecting like some harder wiz ropes in that dungeon or something, but I guess not. basically been everywhere on this side. Let's see. Okay. So I escaped from there. And then I went to the left. That's where I got the mushroom at. With the magic powder. Can I do something in there now? Probably. But I could also come here and check this out. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Hmm. Could I maybe need to play it on this screen now? I'm sure this was the original screen that did this stuff. Maybe if I go through here, it'll take me somewhere. It, it did take me somewhere, of course it did. But where would level 7 be? I have the mirror. Don't know who needs the mirror. Uh, 
I didn't really look around much on the top left of the world because I died. Let's check it. Check around. Oh, I can swim, so. Where the secret seashell guy was. This. Oh, I can go through here. This must be level 7. So he moved level 7 up here. Huh. So I had to actually search for one. Mountain Tower. Let's go ahead and get started on this. Oh god, I hate like like so much. You know, instead of, like, going through this dungeon, it's, um, you know, in this episode, at least, let's go ahead and save this for the next episode, because I like doing one episode, one dungeon per episode. It's a little bit of a short one now, kind of like the last one. I think the last one was only 15 minutes. This one's 17 minutes. So these things are going through pretty quickly. Um, but next time we'll be going through level 7 and seeing what we can do with this. So thank you for watching, and next time, level 7.